Awesome today. That sounds great. Hey guys, welcome to that pedal show. Pedal jams down here. Mick here. It's been blinking ages since we've done a pedal jams. Yeah. Um, well, before Christmas. And uh, well, you've just heard all the pedals. What a cracking selection of pedals today, Daniel. <laughs> Unreal. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm yeah. genuinely excited. Okay, so what have we got? We've got the Source Audio Spectrum. We have the Venuram Shanks ODS. One. One. We've got the uh, Echoes by Keeley. We have two micro vents uh, from Neo Instruments. We have the Rotary Cabinet 122 and the uh, uh, Rotary Cabinet 16. <laughs> I had to look that up. We, we, we had to look up what that meant, which is a shocking, shocking, shocking admission from a Stevie Ray Vaughan fan that one has to look up what that means. Anyway, all right, let's get into it then. Where do you want to start, Dan? Uh, we're going to start with Spectrum. Okay. This is awesome. Yeah. Okay, so as always with Source Audio, there's a lot to this pedal. Every, um, what is it? Let's begin with what it is. It's mm -hmm. a filter. It's a filter. It's an intelligent filter, which will be good for me and Dan. <laughs> <laughs> to add some intelligence to the mix. It's got six primary filter types uh, available there off the top panel. Three in the green mode, three in the red mode. Oh, well played. And they are based off of famous filters that you know, such as the Mutron. Yep. Uh, go on, go through them. Uh, so yes, there's the Mutron, there's the, uh, what's the one? It doesn't, actually doesn't even say on the on the quick start card, but there's the, ah, oh, the Meatball. Yeah. From um, Meatball. Meatball. Love yeah. Tone. Mate. And then Love there's tone. stuff like Boss OC2 with yes. other filtering. So it's basically a, a mix up of many, many different types of filters, EQs, and synthy type sounds mm -hmm. with overdrive and all the rest of it. And then if you get into the Source Audio Neuron app, there are many more. So we'll just, we'll focus on the main six that are involved in there and just give you a quick flick through of um, how they sound. Shall we start at the beginning, Dan? Sure. I've got a feeling the first one, which is called, glasses required. Tron? Tron. Tron. Guess why? Uh, I don't mew. mew. <laughs> Funky eye up, landlord. That's really nice. We what could... they've got with that is that the Mutron has a very specific top end. Right. Right. There's got this really crazy presence in it, and it's got it. Here you go. There's a frequency control. There you go. And all the way down. Yeah, man. So uh, it also works on bass. I don't know if you're supposed to tell it it's bass or not. So apologies if you are. Anyway, it sounds pretty good on bass. <laughs> Let's do the meatball. That's as close as I'll ever get to Bootsy Collins, okay? Okay, so this is the meatball. All right. Yeah. 
Play with the plectrum. Are you ready for a thrust, big man? <laughs> Let's do it. Here comes the thrust. <laughs> That's awesome. Come on, may as well stay on the bass just for a second. That is absolutely killer. Get out of town. Seriously, great. I know what I'm doing for the next three weeks. Yeah, yeah, it's really, really great. <laughs> Come on, we better hear some of it on guitar before. Uh... Trust me, baby. Yeah, it's, that's that's awesome. I switched on the Shanks ODS one at the end there. That's. So we have fallen foul of um, Source Audio's amazing pedals before because mm -hmm. they can often pack away so many levels of functionality that it's not immediately obvious off the front panel. But literally 20 minute reading of the uh, quick start guide and sounding we're... like, well, music. Yeah. Isn't it already? Well, we didn't have to search for good sounds. No. That's the, for me, that's the, it's sort of the, the, the sign of a, that sort of a pedal done really well. Yeah. That when you've got a, go into the menus, trying to find something that sounds decent. Everything sounds great. So yeah, the, awesome. as we said, there's six um, different filters available off the front panel there. If you want to know what they are, please hit the Source Audio website, which will tell you. And then it, if you want to get in and use the Neuron app, I think it's called Neuron, isn't it? Mm -hmm. um, then you get into really, really, really deep editability in terms of access to more filters and stuff like that. But also you can control much tweakier control over stuff like uh, LFOs and ocelots. <laughs> and so all, it's an ocelot. All that kind of stuff. You can tell I'm, there's uh, ice cracking beneath my feet as I'm even trying to explain it. Um, Very cool. Okay. Very cool. This is exciting. Yes. So the, the gentleman over at Vermuram uh, have been making wonderful pedals that we've enjoyed for many years. In fact, when we were in Japan, we hung out with them and champions all. Shout out to Shingo. Hey yes. Shingo, if you ever watch this. Legend. What a what a top geezer. Champion among humans you yeah, are. Yeah, absolutely. Now this is the, wait, we've got a couple things. We've got the, the Myriad Fuzz, which we're going to put in the show soon. Yeah. I'm really looking forward to trying that out because I've played that on Josh Smith's board and it's just <laughs> unbelievable. This is the Shanks. Uh, an overdrive for uh, Senor 
John Shanks. Yes, designed in conjunction with John Shanks. If you don't know who John Shanks is, Wikipedia him. Um, songwriter, producer, guitarist. Guitar, currently, until Bon Jovi, don't yes, you know? Yes, indeed. I think he produced their last record, or if not the last oh, one, then the one before that. Wow. Yeah, he's a producer. He's played with all kinds of people, tons of songwriting credits, including, which I didn't know, Westlife and Take That. No. That's what Wikipedia says. I mean, you can't always believe Wikipedia, but... Anyway, John, um, pretty serious tone dude, and... Uh, this, so says the manual, is an all-round overdrive capable of doing most things. Okay. Top panel, uh, volume gain and tone, simple enough. Mm -hmm. And on the front edge there, you've got a bass trimmer and a saturation trimmer. And they give you this little stabber. Oh, nice. I did actually prepare, Dan. Did you? Check this. Bing. Oh, yeah. Spoidle. Uh, we have so, a tiny, smaller spoidle. Oh, nice. Oh, that's cute. Isn't it? That's nice. Yeah. If we put that there, we'll probably knock it off and never find it again. Okay. All right, then. Um, so let's, uh, let's do this. Okay. Have at it, sir. Fiddly boo. Nice. That's lovely. Looks like it might be able to do a fair boost as well. That is absolutely awesome. That really is awesome. Um, enough terrible blues. Dan, play something more melodic. <laughs> I really, really like that. It feels amazing. It does. Listen, listen to the front of the note. That that pick attack is so clear. How lovely. Well, by the way, we're using a Victory V40 and a Matchless HC30 today. Uh, yeah, V40 Deluxe. V40 Deluxe. Yeah. Um, sound good. That's, that, how many watts is the V40 Deluxe? Forty. It is forty. What's the what's the Hundred watt one, the one one forty, which confusingly is not one hundred and forty watts. Okay, okay, let's try some humbuckers. If you wouldn't mind, Dan, have a fiddle with the old switches. Okay, there's one for bass and one for um, one for harmonics and saturation. Okay, which is kind of interesting. So here's just the the three thirty five.
Have you left it with the, lots of bass on? A bit of bass on, yeah. yeah. A bit of bass on. Got left, got did you less. try the harmonics one? I did. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think that's one of the best sounding overdrives I've ever heard. I was going to say exactly the same thing. I don't often get excited about overdrive pedals. That is absolutely killer. As I was partly, as I was part way through playing there, I turned that saturation thing all the way up, mm -hmm. which just gave it more kind of gristle and bite and stuff. And I guess you could use that bass control to sort of compensate if you are predominantly a humbucker person, sure. you've got a particularly dark yeah, sound yeah, yeah. Les Paul, or if you're a strap person and you want to put a bit more, or telly person, actually not a telly person, if you're a strap person and you want to put a bit more bottom mm. end in there. That is killer. Isn't it? I'm really blown away. It's that front of the note thing that got, like, even with the humbucker, you go up high and you can hear the pick on the front of the note. Just awesome. Indulge me for one second, will you? Front of the note is there, isn't it? Uh, quick bit of P90. to do that is because that um this pickup can really over compress right with with an overdrive pedal try the lester Wait. Absolutely killer. When you read in a manual and it says something like, oh, I've designed this overdrive pedal to do everything and be all things to all men, you go, hmm. Wow. That's really, How lovely. really, 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 really good. Bah. 
Dragon in other words. It's good that there's uh, still some surprises in this game. Yes, yes. yes. Right. Okay, I'm going to start with the with the um, expression pedal unplugged from this because there's a few things I need to show you. Okay, you've heard it already. Um, the Keeley Echoes, which we saw last year at NAMM, but has taken the rest of the year to kind of finish uh, and is being launched at this NAMM 2020, winter 2020 NAMM, which Dan and I are not going to. No, my fault. Oh, I wouldn't say that. Let's have. I'd have children. Yeah, Dan's got family commitments. I, I don't want to go to them, actually. It's really funny. First year in ages. Anyway, let's move on. Okay. Uh, okay, so what, it's a tape delay, yeah? Right. So this has been on the cards for a couple of years, and they've been working diligently on this. They're using a whole new um, processor. So, like... What's the, the PT, uh, anyway, there's a delay chip, a really common delay chip that's right. used in loads of fast pedals. This isn't it. This is a new, um, a new DSP. I was being a shark processor. Then. Shark processor. Right, is that there what you it go. Is? I, I think so. We don't know. We don't know. We're guessing. We're just fumbling no, around. I, uh, no, I, I did, I talked to Robert about this. Um, anyway, it's very powerful. It's, you know. It's up there with the likes of processors being used by Source Audio and Strymon and, you know, yeah, all, yeah. all those guys. So this is a big step forward for Keeley. Now, uh, it has all the things that we love, um, analog dry through, all that stuff. But what they've, what's really interesting about this is the modulation. And so, well, there's two things, modulation and repeats. So it's modeled after uh, the repeats of a tape echo, okay? Any specific tape echo? Um, no. So let me, let me take you through it. The, the repeats, there are nine different controls for just the repeats. All right. So if we start, if you give me, uh, just we'll hear the, hear the, hear, hear your dry through again. Yeah. Okay. So. We have, of course, the uh, the blend control. So the the I was watching the sound of music over Christmas. What dark film that actually? Yeah, it all starts nice in the Tyrol. Where yeah, they yeah. are having a lovely time, learning the major scale. It's bloody Nazis. They're Nazis. Oh man. And Julie Andrews. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we have. Um, you've got your blend control. You've got your feedback. You know, right? All you know, all the standard stuff. So we have the tone control. Now the tone control isn't just a standard tone control. It's it's done specifically. The, um, to emulate what happens with the filtering of tape, all right? So if I if I make it darker, but it's not just the top end that's being rolled off. Yeah. So have a listen to this. So this is, I'll, I'll, I'll do it drastically. So okay. this is the, the tone all the way to the left. Most importantly, have a listen to the filtering as it trails off. Okay, so if I make the feel be a bit longer. That's magic. It's incredible. It's not just EQ, is it? No, 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 no. Yeah, yeah. They've, they've spent months on just this alone, just getting the filtering right in the repeats. Okay, so now we get to the the modulation. Okay, so I'm going to start 
Hang on, let's get this right. Right. So if I now, um, I'm going to turn it right down, turn the depth up a little bit, and I'll, I'll increase the depth yep. as you play. So give us a nice. Okay, this is for you, Jack Duxbury. <laughs> Just makes you want to play. It's it's crazy. The the modulation is not just a simple um, LFO, you know, sine wave giving you you know the, the different mm -hmm. modulating the time. He's actually modelled what happens with the t when you modulate tape, but that's only half of it. What he's done, he's also got another tape next to it on the repeats. So I can bring up another tape reel that stays constant to give you flange. I was going to say, then you get flanging and Check this out. potentially phasing, no? Check this out. Certainly flanging. <laughs> Give us a, a skank repeat. Sorry. That is crazy cool. So you can go, the other thing is, you've got a, so that's a flanger. If I increase the delay time between yeah. the two reels, it's now more of a chorus. Get lost for days in that. So the killer question is then, what does it sound like next to a timeline? And a, yeah, but I guess the timeline doesn't do those two really things. Well, this is. Or, I mean, does a timeline do flange 
trails. No, I don't think it does. You can put a flanger in the yep. effects loop to get yep. that sound. However, uh, you know, this is specifically about achieving those flange things. But the beauty of it is um, you can uh, you can tweak that. So uh, at the moment we've got a lot of a lot of flanging, right? But I can just I, if I go in and I just bring up a little bit of the second reel. Yeah. So. Sure. So yeah, it's 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 amazing. Now, the other thing is with the expression pedal, it also has a looper in there as well. Right, right, with reverse in a in a separate function. You go to a different mode to do that or something. So you double click this. Yeah, and now you're on looper. Right, all right. Are those red LEDs modes for the? Yeah, so you've got delay mode. Yeah, and then you've got the looper mode. Yeah, and then uh, the other the other is a status LED to tell you what's going on with your right looper and such. Cool. Um, I'm going to come out of that. Now, the other really cool thing with this, with the expression pedal, you can set, you can go to the heel position, set your controls, go to the tone position, then reset your controls. So oh, instead wow. of just being a, like a delay level, you can you can have a like a short, clean delay, and then as you as you roll forward, roll in more modulation, roll in a longer delay time. Wow. Um, so it's almost like a multi-parameter learn yeah, rather than yeah, a yeah. single. Absolutely. Wow, that's really cool. It's really, play, really cool. Really. Uh, yeah, I'm I'm smitten. I'm in deep smit. <laughs> just it's just sonically, I think it's beautiful. Yeah. Okay. Well, we'll have to. We will do a show. Uh, we will rebirth the. Oh, actually, we've got a new echo fix. Yeah. We which do. has got reverb, uh, proper spring reverb in it now, rather than digital reverb. So, as uh, for anyone who doesn't know, that's a, a remake of the. Roland Space Echo RE201, but a bit more robust and brought up to modern standards. And of course, we've got our old RE201 back there. So I feel that there's a tape show coming up. Yeah. Yeah? Definitely. Wow. Okay, we're going to jam a bit at the end. So you'll you'll hear Dan uh, being creative. <laughs> you'll hear me playing the blues. <laughs> okay, this is exciting. Yes. This is really exciting. Um, it, Regular viewers of the show will know that um, our pretty much our favourite rotary speaker simulator pedal is the uh, Vent series of stuff by mm -hmm. New Instruments in Germany, particularly the Micro Vent, just because it just sounds great. Uh, the Mini Vent. Sorry, <laughs> this is the Micro Vent. Particularly the Mini Vent, because it just sounds great straight out of the box. Um, it's got no knobs on the top, which I love. Uh, just plugged it in, it's just magic. For it just sounds one. right. So, yeah. But what's interesting is uh, the guys there have done two new versions one is the mini vent as you know it but made micro um with some extra functionality on the top this one here mm -hmm. i believe the 122 which is a particular type of leslie cabinet um this one here is a 16 which as we uh, discovered is supposed to be like the fender vibratone which is uh a different Davey type G. of rotating speaker cabinet used by people including davy g i can honk him because i spoke to him on the phone <laughs> And uh, Steve Ravon, who I regrettably cannot honk. I can honk Philip says. Okay. So, um, yeah, uh, a different thing. Shall we have a listen? Yes. Okay, you go. Oh, it's me again. It is you. Okay, so let's see if we can conjure the uh, the micro mini vent, the mi mini vent as I know it. Okay. Thank you. 
I think we'll have to get them on the same board. Yeah, Put yeah. Them side by side yep. in another show. Here you go. What do you think of that then? So what controls we got? We got so yes. Oh nice. Yeah. Go on then. The blend is really interesting. Do you want do you want this or not? Yeah, 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 yeah. There's some very cool things going on with this in terms of the function of the foot switch, for example. You can set it up so that uh, when you hold it down, it speeds up. Now you can set that up as either latching or momentary, or you can set it up like we have here with the other mic event, the, um, the 16, so that if you're using it in a loop switcher, for example, the foot switch just toggles the different speeds. So it's always on. So it's always on, and which is really cool. turn it on and off via your loop switcher. Yeah, yeah. Cool. So let's have a look to the 16, and we'll show you, I'll show you what I mean by that. It's just uh, with that on. speaker demos we've ever done i don't think i've ever played cold shot oh wow maybe in the first one so there you have to do it if you want to listen <laughs> to the definitive fender vibratone um tone listen to cold shot by steve Rovon, which is that sound um 
I, I want to spend some more time and actually get the differences because the difference between a vibratone for anyone who doesn't know and the one two two mm -hmm. is the vibratone is a single spinning speaker and the one two two presumably is the dual job is it with the rotating bass thing and the, the horn at the top that's the one yeah i don't forgive me i don't understand um leslie cabs that well but if that is the case then there should be more complexity in the 122 because you're hearing a top and the bottom right whereas in the in the vibratone i think you're only hearing a single okay speaker so yeah. i think that warrants further investigation sure but that is very exciting uh because it's smaller it's got knobs on and there's two two's always good <laughs> Shall we jam? Let's jam. Um, thank you for watching. Yeah. Uh, please subscribe if you haven't subscribed. Massive thanks to our Patreons uh, and our preferred retailers, all the information which is below. And also anyone that's gone to that pedalshowstore.com. Boom. Let's, uh, let's have jamage. <laughs>